Hey guys, are you tired of eyeballing and wasting your precious time in websites and trying to draw your site boundary how it is instead of like just importing it straight away into Google Maps or Google Earth? Well, don't worry. Today we'll show you a new way how to import your DWG into Google Maps by using just an online website for free. I am Ferdi and this is another episode of Civil Textures. Let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open your drawing and then we're going to go to our proposed site layout and we're going to copy the site boundary and we're going to create a new drawing and paste to the original coordinates. Make sure your UCS is set to world. Then we're going to delete uh, all the paper space uh, items, blocks that you have and then we're going to purge it. We, we, I'll explain the reason later on, but it's an important step. And then go ahead and save your drawing. We will save it in our extra folder, name it side boundary. And then we can go ahead and close that one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to my Geodata Cloud website. I'll attach the link in the description below. And we're going to go to go to converter. And then we're going to input our format DWG. And then for Google Earth, we want KML. And we're going to go check convert to DWG KML and we're going to upload our file. Going to add our file, side boundary, open, continue. And if you've done all the steps so far correctly and removed everything, then you will see where exactly your site is. And we're just going to go ahead and hit convert now. And we're going to download it. And as you can see, it's been downloaded. What we're going to do is copy it and go back to our extra files and just paste it in there. And then what you want to do is you want to go to My Maps Google. Not Google Maps, My Maps. The reason being is uh, Google has developed a platform where you can upload your own maps. So let's go ahead and create a new map. And what we can do is we can hit import and we can upload our file. As soon as uploaded, Google My Maps should straight away zoom in. Now, as you can see here, we have only one entity. And if we hit the bucket icon, we can change the color of the line. We'll keep it red because that's where usually side boundaries are. And we can just slightly increase the thickness. And we can name it side boundary if we just hit the edit and just name it side boundary. save and then what you can do is we can change the base map and add the satellite image as you can see it's more accurate than eyeballing it so what you can uh, extra thing you can do is you can share it so basically what you can do is go to share and let's say the map type tool is cts tutorial Hit OK. And then what we're going to do is get link. And we're going to remove the restriction to anyone with link. We're just going to copy the link. And if we paste the link here, you can see that your client or any other colleague wants to see where the site is and actually access and see where it is. And the same applies for Google Earth. So if we go to Google Earth, sorry, explore Google Earth, because Google Earth is the actually application software. If we go to Google Earth, if we give it a few seconds to load, and if we hit the projects and create a new project, create an import KML file from the computer, and we import it, it will take us straight away where the site is. And see you can see where the site is and this can be shared as well so now the reason we didn't want to import uh, leave any title blocks in because the title blocks would have been imported with the boundary line and then it would have been all over the place so just 
put it on a clear drawing with just a side boundary layer with your sound boundary boundary line and you should be fine. I hope you find this video useful and it will make, make your life way easier than eyeballing the side boundary in Google Maps or any other software that you use to show your side location plan. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you loved it, please hit the sub button. I would like to thank uh, our patron, Ben and Mikkel, for allowing us to use the AutoCAD license. Thank you very much, and see you next time.